Hey guys, here's a little update on my 36 gallon bow front length tank and can tank. I got, remember I, I told you guys I had, uh, I got two more Cotopancatus trying to find two males. I actually lost one of them. I don't know what happened to him. He, he didn't make it. But I got these ones and I'm hoping, you know, they'll start pairing off. But uh, the main reason I did this video was to kind of note. So I've noticed these two are definitely a pair of my Julie Chromis. Um, I, I, I believe the, the females are larger than the males, so uh, females on the right, males on the left, and I know for sure that they're a pair because, uh, well the other ones were, I had five in here, I've removed them, that was quite a challenge, but I got them out of here, and because uh, they were starting to get beat up, and, and the real, re and I was you know, thinking there was eggs, and I couldn't see any eggs in here, but I actually have seen there's two I've seen two so far, two babies, and they're quite large, larger than than I thought they would have been. I mean, they're eating small pellet food right now already, and uh, let's see, there's one, uh, they, they stay under this rock, and it's kind of frustrating because I can't see them very well, <coughs> but they come out when they eat, and they're starting to get more adventurous because, shoot, one of them is like half an inch long already and uh, you know I've always read that you know they grow faster when they're with their parents but obviously the survival rates a lot less because they're they're in a community tank you know and they're but um, looks pretty good there there's a little guy moving right there right in the middle of the screen oh he didn't come out but yeah there he is see so that's that's the news is is uh, these guys are are actively breeding in my community tank and you know I think they're breeding on the other side of this rock like underneath they've dug it out because there's a cave right there but I don't think they're using the cave per se so just have to I guess I'm just gonna leave them in here and let them breed and and whatever survives survives oh here's, here's another one this one's bigger he's really hard to see on the rock but he's right because I mean they're black I mean it's not like an easy thing to see but there there he goes so that's the biggest one and he's he might be over a half inch big and he's he's a good looking uh, Julie Chromis Malera right there uh, but yeah they're breeding that's exciting so they look good hopefully my Cotopancatus will will breed and the, the Parasipochromis will kind of We'll start coloring up a little bit more. They're still young, but uh, yeah. So that's what's going on here. Is is I got I got babies, and they they must have been breeding for a while. So I don't know if there's another batch because I know these guys will they'll continually breed, and, and the young will help. They'll, they'll like make almost like a colony. Is kind of what I've heard. So that, you know where the younger babies won't necessarily eat all the all the their next batch. Uh, but we'll see uh, how many generations I can get before. They overrun this tank. I mean, I don't want that to happen, obviously, but uh, I'll figure it out and kind of see how it goes. But that's what's uh, that's what's going on in here. Is I got little little babies in here, uh, surviving. So they're these guys are good parents. They're they're doing a good job.